What's going on all you gamers, today I'm going to be going over how you can get hold of all of the Smith & Stone Miner's Bell bearings. If you need one, two, three or four, then the location and how to get hold of them is coming up next. Welcome back all you guys and girls, as always, Full Things Gaming, Full Things Xbox, then why not hit that subscribe and bell icon. I'll bring you all the latest and greatest content, hints, tips, guides and builds, and just some fun gameplay and reviews of upcoming games. But for today, you want to get hold of 1, 2, 3 or 4, or possibly all of them, for the Smith & Stone Bell bearings. This will allow you to upgrade and just make your life much easier. So the first one, you will have to progress a little ways in the game. The place that I spawned in at was the Boiled Prawn Shack. From here you're going to make it up to this cave just up here. If you've got a grace point that's closer you can make your way to there from there as well. But I just went straight up the river and made it into this cave just over here. You're going to want to go inside and then go down the elevator. Once inside, proceed a little ways and you'll find the grace point for the rare Lucaria Crystal Tunnel. From there, just head in the direction I show. I'm going to speed it up a little bit just to save you some time. So keep making your way down and then eventually you'll find another elevator. Once you hit the bottom, just go straight forward again and through this caves here. You're going to want to walk across this wooden plank. And then once you reach this part, you're going to chuck a left. Once here, you're almost at your destination, just make it all the way to the end. Or get hit in the face by that fella, whatever works well for you. And down the very last elevator. Straight forward from here will be the boss encounter. Now this one's not too tricky if you're geared up, if you're early game, you will probably want some kind of a blunt instrument or blunt spell, such as a physical spell, as this enemy is resistant to quite a lot of damage. But upon beating those, you will be rewarded with the Smith & Stone Miner's Bell Bearing 1. Moving on to the second location, and you're going to head even further up. This time you're going to be going near to the capital, and you're going to want to teleport to the Outer Wall Phantom Tree. From here, just set a waypoint just down at this cave entrance just here. However, it is not the exact path you think, because if you follow the exact, you're going to go up the hill. Instead, you're going to want to bear left and go down a slightly rocky path just down this way. Just make your way all the way down and to the very end of the stream. Once inside, very similar to the last one, there's going to be a grace point and you're going to want to pick that up just in case you want to return here. Next what you want to do, just next to that fire, just there on the left, will be a hidden wall. This area actually has an absolute abundance of hidden walls, more than probably anywhere else I've seen. Hit that, and then just make your way through. Drop down here, jump up here, and just jump off and grab that chest. 
Inside, nice and easy, will be the smithing stone miner's bell bearing two. Now, if you want to proceed and go down and find the boss and such, this does, like I said, have a lot of hidden walls. Just behind that chest is another one, and there will be a lot more on the way as you travel to the boss. But moving on to the third bell bearing, and we're going to be moving up into the snowy area. Where you're going to want to go now is the grace point just up there. Where you're going to want to fast travel to is the Zamor Ruins grace point. And then you're going to be heading just down to the Zamor Ruins just down here. Again, jump on your trusty steed and just head in the direction I show. If you need to open up your map and check, then do that at any time and try not to aggro any enemies. Just up here, you can also grab yourself a nice spell in the Zamor Ice Storm. Then you're going to make your way just down here. And there's going to be stairs leading into the tunnel. That's going to give us our very next bell bearing. As you can see just here, we've managed to grab the smithing stone miner's bell bearing free. Now last but definitely not least, this one takes a bit of effort, it's very endgame orientated as we're going to have to be all the way over here to the Dragon Temple Grace Point over in the crumbling Faram Azula. This is a very end game activity, so you are probably going to want to be quite geared up before you make your way here. Now, if you already have this checkpoint, there'll be a chapter skip up the top letting you know what marker to jump to. But if you haven't, in order to get to this location, you're going to have to have completed a lot of the main storyline and be on the point of no return. You're going to want to have made it to the Forge of the Giants Grace Point, spoken to Melina, at which point you'll be teleported straight here. From here, you'll want to travel the direction I'm showing and I'll be picking up the grace points as I go. Something I wish I'd looked at before I did my journey because this is quite a maze. But just head down into the area and follow the directions I'm showing. There are an awful lot of enemies here and each one of them can hit you very hard. So be careful as you go and probably avoiding or running past a lot of them is the best way. Picking up the first grace, we've got the crumbling beast grave just here. From there, we're going to jump out and chuck a left, and then proceed all the way forward along here. Like I said, there's a lot of enemies out to give you a bad day, so try to avoid them at all costs. Just here's another grace point, and this one is the Crumbling Beast Grave Depths. Just follow exactly where I'm showing here, and make sure you're dodging past any enemies. Jump off of this little ledge, and you'll be greeted with the next grace point. Now whilst you're here, you're going to want to pick this one up, it's the Somberstone Miner's Bell Bearing 4, which will allow you to do some nice upgrades on your special weapons. From there, proceed down, probably drop a little bit safer than I did when I nearly fell off there, but you're going to want to make it in the general direction I do here, making your way down the crumbling building as you go. Then just off in the distance, you're going to see the checkpoint that we need. And that's this grace point, the Dragon Temple. Not far from easy from here, I'd say this is one of the toughest boss fights in the game. So prepare yourself. If it's your first time, you can run straight through here and jump over the balcony and then you'll be able to go into the boss fight. 
If like me you completely botched it up on your first time, then run in this direction and enter from here. I would highly recommend having a really nice summon here and a lot of damage as well as survivability as these guys are definitely no joke. But once you do defeat them, you're going to be rewarded with the Ash of War Black Flame Tornado and the Smithing Stone Miner's Bell Bearing 4. Definitely not an easy thing to get this last one, but well worth it as you'll be able to upgrade all of your standard weapons now. As always gamers, for all things gaming, for all things Xbox, take care. I'll see you on the next day.